we're Nigel. Um, we're out tonight in the uh, in the Peak District uh, during Storm Eric. No fear, us lads. Uh, so we'll just do the traditional way in. Oh, under ten. What's that? Nine. I'll do. Nigel's cunningly hidden all of his hooks. He's, fe he's fearing the way in, I can sense it. <laughs> Fear nothing. Uh, eight kilo lighter. Okay. Right. Um, we've got the trail star, so Nigel's carrying. Now just carrying the outer. I've got the inner. Um, we've both got cook sets. I've probably got half half a liter of fuel. Which is probably too much. Um, Nigel's probably carrying a thimble. Um, I've got the wet food, so I've got the square sausage again. And Nigel's got all dehydrated stuff. That's probably where a big load of the the weight difference is coming from. And tonight we're going to camp by a castle if we find it. And tomorrow we're looking for a B29 wreckage. Um, hopefully we find that. Stay tuned. Pennine Way at night. We have walked through some uh, bogs, let's say, but it is the Peak District, as you expect. Uh, Storm Eric, when they're in the wind, is quite cold, but uh, bright lad here has got his merino wool base layer on already and his uh, winter paramo stuff, so he is quite warm. Nigel's got hats and gloves on. Uh, yeah, right. <laughs> is all right so the Pennine way if we see a, a path on this side it means we've gone too far because there's a path on this side that takes us to our castle where we're hoping to find a pitch tonight but i don't think we're that far away from it at the moment That. It's got cold, hasn't it? Like that? Temper no, the temperature's dropped. Y yeah. Yeah, it's dropping now. The wind, the rain, I think the storm's blown in. This will get us warm again. Happy days. What is it? It is root vegetable casserole. So it has leeks, potato, uh, parsnips, carrots, onion, uh, and a, like a cooked in a chicken broth with a bit of uh, a bit of curry powder in and stuff like that. Is this something you just made up, or is this a recipe? You'd it's say? a recipe I found on the internet. Oh, okay. I had it before, and I've had it this batch before, and it was quite nice actually. Oh, cool. And I found it last time I put a bit too much water in, so I put a bit of mashed potato in. Right. And it made it nice and creamy, but I think... Looks good. Yeah, you can see carrots in there. Right. Leek. Must be smelling, I think. Anyway, this isn't getting any warmer, is it? Trail stars slung very low. Um, I'll, get, I'll get you a height in the morning. Um, it's just blowing at absolute holy, but we knew it would be bad. Um, 
very little sleep between the pair of us. Uh, there's a lot of time where the actual tarp itself is pinning me to the deck. Um, so, not really a very pleasurable experience. Nigel's just outside now, re uh, making sure the pegs are right. It's not a good one, not a good experience. Interesting to see how uh, or what the actual wind speed is when we when we get back. Oh, couldn't find it, mate. The tar flew off. Um, Storm Eric has really well pulled the pegs out of the soft ground, hasn't it, mate? Yeah. Trying to, yeah. Yeah, trying to, mate. What what sleeping bag is it, Nigel? It's an OEX one. Called oh, is it the the, the Lavium EV Lavium? It it's down, is it? Yeah. How much? How much? What? Down. How much down? A lot. Yeah. It's about seven, eight hundred grams of down, I think. A lot for how much the bag actually weighs. It's just over a kilo, isn't it? Yeah, 1.3. You happy with it? Very. Were you warm enough last night? I was absolutely sweltering. Mm. And I didn't have the hood up, I had it half zipped open and... Show it off. Yeah. Yeah. I wisely chose my summer bag. Did you? How was that for you? I wasn't cold, in all honesty. Um, because the tarp... Because I've pitched the tarp so low, if you actually look here, this bit's windproof. Yeah. So when I'm rolled onto my side, the wind was basically shooting straight over my shoulder, straight into the sleeping bag. But, um... Yeah, well, I don't have that problem, because I'm not as big as you, am I? No. A bit lower down. <laughs> Tack no. myself into it. I'd say that, but... Yeah, once I've got all the, um, the neck and what have you done up and everything, I've got a silk liner in it, and I've still got well, quite a bit of clothing on. And I can't say I was cold, now, than I almost think. That's right, that's the important thing. Yeah. That's what it looks like outside. Yeah, booze on. So what um, what we did at home was uh, basically cook um, some square sausage which Nigel's got in his hand. Try and pan round and get to it. So that's already cooked and so we're just going to leave it in the bag, boil the water for the brews, warming that up as a byproduct, and then we've got some... Uh, cheese and onion topped rolls and a bit of tomato sauce to go with it. That's why my bag was so heavy and it also turns out my bag was so heavy because Nigel didn't bring any of his own plates so we had to bring them and he's also using my fuel. Well that's the deal, I bring the cook set, you bring the bowls. I think the deal is Nigel, I'm the pack horse in this relationship. Yeah. Are you fooling nobody? Porky Digit is at the moment, that's where we're actually camped at the moment, and this is marked as Torside Castle, so it's less than 150 metres away from us, uh, well more or less to the west of us. So we're going to go and spend a couple of moments uh, seeing what that's all about. We we don't know what to expect, we don't know whether it's actually a, a feature on the landscape or whether there is some debris of some type, so we'll go and check that out and see what it's all about. Then we're coming back down to the Pennine Way. Now, about 10 or 15 metres into the Pennine Way, there's a little junction that comes off, which is taking us in a more direct route to our target. This target here is where we can set a bearing to this trig point. And somewhere around this trig point is the, uh, the bomber wreckage that we're hoping to find today. So looking at all the water that's coming down through here, and you can see the weather conditions that we've got, um, and it's actually called shelf moss. So if you were going to gamble on it, you'd say that that was going to be quite boggy and marshy and all the rest of it. Or we can carry on going up the Pennine Way, 
which will take us up to another junction just here, um, Bleaklow Head. And then at that point we can then carry on up this footpath, set the bearing to the trig point and hopefully see this bomber wreckage. From the trig point we can set a reverse bearing slightly off angle to the east so that we know we're going to hit that track at some point and at that point we'll see how wet we are. Um, there's a full uh, route back off the map around this way back down to the car um, but if we are you know suffering with being cold and wet and all the rest of it we are just literally going to hot foot back down. Um, last night you can see the path on the Pennine way that we were walking and it's actually quite exposed but we didn't see any of that because it was pitch black so I think we both agree don't we Nige that yes. we'll go it, it, if we feel as though we've had enough for the day we'll go back down there and we'll see how exposed we actually were and it, looking at the map we now know that it's you know, quite a beautiful valley to take in as well so we'll see and uh, here's what it's doing outside Right, we had two options, one was to stay on the Pennine Way which is a very well walked path and would have got us to the target or the point where we can set a bearing to the trig point and then try and find that bomber wreckage but I also mentioned another path that uh, wasn't very far from where we would join the Pennine Way but it looked as though it would be boggy. Well five minutes into that particular route and this is what we've got so we've got two water crossings and in total we're going to be walking about 40 minutes uh, based on it being just short of three kilometers this track so the track is going to pan around slightly to the left uh, and then we will cross a river stream some type and then a second one and then with 300 meters we will join up with the path and walk north on it that's a plan get a look at this trick point and see if we can see where this um, plane wreck is
just for a treat, as well as the late Baltimore and our wins, we're now being shot last year by hailstones.